Hey guys, how's it going? Today I'll be reviewing the 2015 MacBook Pro and seeing if it's worth it in 2020. As you can see, I've dual booted this MacBook Pro with Windows 10, as macOS Big Sur does not allow 32-bit software, making most games that were playable on Mac now unplayable. On the hardware side of things, we have the MagSafe port, alongside two Lightning ports, a USB port, and a headphone jack. On the other side, there's another USB port, a HDMI port, and an SD card slot. The ports alone make this device somewhat better than current models due to their lack of ports. The specs of this MacBook Pro is a 2.7GHz dual-core 5th gen i5 alongside 8GB of DDR3 RAM clocked at 1867MHz and an Intel Iris 6100 graphics. Now onto editing. I did it on Premiere Pro and I have no issues whatsoever with editing at 1080p at 60fps, even on full resolution. As you can see from this Grand Theft Auto 5 video I'm working on, I will also be editing this video on the MacBook as well. Now onto the games with Black Ops 2 Zombies running on low settings at 1280 by 800 and managing almost a consistent 60fps with VSync on. I also have gameplay of the multiplayer with it not being much different with VSync also on. Now Minecraft is very obviously going to run well as it's not that demanding, with the frame rate being with VSync on at around 50 to 60 with drops every now and then. But turning VSync off and you see a large boost of frames reaching up to almost 110, but having VSync off is the chance of larger stutters between the 60 and 110 FPS. Now, do I think this laptop is worth buying in 2020 going on into 2021? Yeah, I do. With its collection of ports and thin body, and being a lot cheaper than new MacBook Pros with its 5 year old age, it's great for editing on the go and light gaming every now and then. If there are any more games you would like to see me test on this MacBook, be sure to comment down below. If you did enjoy this video, be sure to like and subscribe, it helps me out a lot, and I'll see you guys soon. Goodbye.